What's up, everybody? Old School NYC Gamer here once again with another video. And yes, finally wanted to do this gameplay video for quite a long time. And as you can see here, it's Ms. Pac-Man for the Atari 2600. Now, believe it or not, this is actually the first Atari 2600 game to contain the full demo mode, as you see right here. Now, as you know, you didn't know already, of course, this is on the Atari 2600. This was released in 1982 by Atari and was programmed by Mike Horowitz and Josh Littlefield. Now, just before we get into the gameplay, I have to say, just graphically, this really should have been what Pac-Man could have been. Granted, because the developer at the time only had less than two months to do it, showed. So, even though it's Pac-Man, it's not Pac-Man. But this is Miss Pac-Man. Now, I'm not exactly sure how long it took to make this game, per se, but guarantee you... <laughs> It took more than six weeks for them to develop this game, and it shows in the quality of the game. So without further ado, let me show you a little bit of the gameplay and my thoughts and all that other good stuff, and let's check it out, everybody. Well, as you can see right there, pretty darn close to the arcade, if not pretty much arcade perfect. I do got to admit, even for the Atari 2600, the programmers here did an amazing job on this game. When it comes to the mazes, the behavior of the ghosts, I mean, it's pretty much, like I said, pretty much arcade perfect. Uh, just with the exception of the graphics, obviously, for the due to the Atari 2600's limitations. Uh... Yeah, I mean, the mazes pretty much are spot on. I could, in this game, even back in the day, the best I could do is get to the third level. That's the best I could do on this game. Because I never said I was the best player, but hey, it is what it is. Now, I do remember just from some of the random memories that I have, uh, even getting this game to my recollection... My sister actually was the one who wanted the game after basically driving my mom nuts about getting the game because I had Pac-Man. She wanted something a little more different, hence Miss Pac-Man. Now, the funny thing was, even though the Atari 2600 was mine, we shared in the games. So, there you go. And I believe that was about 1983, if I'm not mistaken. So, this game was pretty new when we got it. Now you will see, obviously, depending on how far you're going to get within the game and how many pellets that you're eating, the ghost will catch up with you pretty quickly. Unless you got a clear path, then you could basically zip across the screen. And there's always... Oh. Right there too. I got. I do apologize right now because the controller I'm using is a little stiff at best, which definitely was no excuse for that one. But as I uh, as I was saying, this game pretty much is you know to the arcade. Now, if you notice some of the ghost with the flickering going on, you will have some behavioral like moments here. Like there's always one ghost within the game. That's going to be more aggressive than the others, obviously. Some just wanted to see how far they could get into the game. Some want to go for points. I pretty much am just trying to survive within this game itself. And just to show you how the maze itself looks on the third level, I want to show you that right now. And you see that one bugger literally about ready to kill me. Unless I get a clear path to get to the... There you go. Ah. You guys gotta watch out for that too when they even go through the escape routes. Right. But I just wanted to show you that really quickly. And I'm a 
Whoa, I guess I was not about to die. Go figure that one. To me, now it's just a game of survival more than anything. This is my last life here. Oh, and of course, when I said that, that's it. I'm just going to leave it at that, everybody. Well, there you go. That is Miss Pac Man for the Atari 2600. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned to the next video because I guarantee you, when you're going to see the next one, you will be quite surprised. And I was quite amazed when I saw this next game that I'm going to be showing you guys. So feel free to check me out on Facebook and on Instagram. Feel free to follow me on both of those. Always feel free to check out some of the earlier content I had. I have a bunch of playlists within my channel. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down at the bottom right there. And that's about it. Have a good one, everybody. Have a good night and take care. Cheers.